Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Exilia. Last time, we're, uh, what happened? We just got a shit in, found out we got a friend in a pretty high place. Did some side quests, or finished off some side quests rather, and now we have a skit. If you leave an egg in an empty box, and said egg gets crushed, the cause must lie within the egg itself. How's egg principle? It sounds obvious, but at the same time, not so much. 500 years ago, Professor Howe used that principle to deduce how spirit channeling works. Although, people still channeled beforehand, right? They just didn't know what they were doing. Yeah. Since spirits have no apparent physical form, people weren't aware they existed at all. But Professor Howe surmised that something had to be converting the mana from our mana lobes into arts. And that turned out to be spirits. Yep. His hypothesis was proven with the discovery of spirits that had taken physical forms. And because he figured out what was inside the egg, the Age of Spirit Arts was born. Exactly. Although there's still a lot we don't understand about spirits. Like Maxwell being a busty 20-year-old. Bet even Professor Howe didn't see that coming. I would imagine not, Alvin. Also, what did I mean by six heart? Like, we did get that item, right? I'm not going insane. Sunglasses. An item that allows you to set up to a s Oh, oh, I know what that is. Never mind. I. Dup, dup. Rain didn't want to work today. Yeah. Are you nervous about something? No one's ever asked me over for tea before. Seems I'm a bit excited. Yep, so let's go down to the lanes of the manor and everything else. Hello. We've been waiting for you. Wow. You live here? Russia go soldiers. Wait. that have our guests departed oh great welcome back brought your friends I see Klein let me introduce you Oh, um, I never got their names. Let's try asking now. Kill two birds with one stone. I came to my sister's aid. I'm Klein Cheryl. I'm Drissel's older brother, as you've no doubt guessed. Lord Klein is the governor here in Sherylton. Really? How rude of us to keep you waiting outside. Please, let's continue our conversation in comfort. Ah, Klein. You're such a great guy. I see. So you protected my sister from wasting her money on worthless trinkets again. It's not worthless. Besides, I got a good deal and made some new friends in the bargain. Wahey! <laughs> Drippy nose kid! Drippy nose kid! That's so hard to notice sometimes. Rowan, please look after our guests. It would be my pleasure, sir. Now, the fun thing is, I thought Klein was gonna be like a villain type character, just cause like. The way he kind of acts and stuff, it's weird. Is he? Isn't he? Oh well. Huh? Nature calls. I better leave now before things get messy.
So you're on some great journey, right? You simply must tell me all about your travels. Gladly. Well, um... We murder I've people. I've been out of this town. I want to hear all about the faraway places you've been. I've never been outside either. But then... Wow. Ellie became pals with Jude and everyone. We crossed mighty oceans and explored forbidden forests. We saw giant waves and toadstools that made everyone cry. You Those actually sailed across mushrooms the sea, are slightly Ellie? different, aren't they? I've never even seen the sea before. What was it like? It's vast and wild, teeming with dangerous creatures. There are giant octopuses pretending to be rocks. Rock octopuses? You don't say. Is it an octopi? And fish and eels and clams. Oh, I've seen clams. Uh, the shells, anyway. They sell shell jewelry in the shops in the plaza. It's all so gorgeous. That sounds really nice. I'll give you one of my favorite it's pieces nice, of present next time. As a token of our friendship. Icky clams turned into pretty jewelry? This I gotta see! So giving presents is a way to establish friendship? Uh, why yes. To the giver, a present is a symbol of trust. To the receiver, a present serves as a warm reminder of our friendship. And getting stuff for free doesn't stink either. I, I mean, Tifo isn't wrong. <laughs> it would appear my young mistress has made some very good friends. Make yourselves at home. Help yourself to tea and treats. So, we gotta talk to everyone. I'm not going to do that right off the bat because I believe in this house, manor, whatever have you, uh, there are actually a lot of roundabout trinkets you could grab, and I'm going to attempt to grab all of them. Also, fun little fact for those who remember or even know about Tales of Graces F, this manor is actually very reminiscent towards, uh, Oh god, a lot manner. And in the sense of like there's only two rooms open, I don't know if it's just me, but Tales of Exilia did come out slightly after Tales of Grace's F. Uh there was no items to I thought there was items to get. Yeah, so slightly after I, I think that they kinda knew what they were going for. Then again, like every manner in every Tales of game seems to be similar in my opinion. Oh, just talk to those two. Hello, Mila. What's up? You can't take your eyes off these things. You that into antiques? No, not particularly. I'm simply fascinated by the illogical proclivity of humans to apply an abstract concept like beauty to everyday objects. That's, uh, pretty deep. I've also been thinking about our current predicament. There's something to be said for hiding in plain sight. But we should not tarry here for long. Yeah. We shouldn't overextend our stay. They've been so good to us already. I know, so at least they're thinking clearly. Also, there's birds there's birds in cages. Ah, uh, they're kinda cute birds. That mean like they go outside for the first time. <coughs> Hawk kills them. I have been in the service of Lord Klein for about two years now. He is a fine ruler despite his youth. He believes in freedom and equality for his people. If he has any real flaw, it's that he spoils Lady Dressel too much. Interesting. Thank you, Rowan. Uh, how about we leave now? Klein? Why the unfriendly face? I'm afraid I can't permit you to leave just yet. Now that I know it was you, who infiltrated the laboratory in Fenmont. Uh-oh. What are you talking about? Save your denials. Alvin told me everything. Really? <laughs> what? Now what? God damn it, Alvin. Will you hand us over to the military? No. I want to know what you saw in that facility. Rashigal has undergone dramatic changes ever since Noctigal acceded the throne. Even those of us in the six ruling houses are not told of his activities. 
the military is holding people captive and draining their mana to develop a new weapon. Human experimentation? He would go that far? Yep. I'd like to believe you're lying, but all the pieces fit. So Nautical is the man behind the experiments? The King of Rushigal? He would have to be. <sighs> it's hardly hospitable to keep Drissel's friends captive in our home. But you must leave this city at once. Gladly. You didn't plan to stay for much longer anyways. Thank you, Lord Clyde. Alvin, I'm gonna give you such a beat down for the hell are you? house sure is huge. Yeah, this might be bigger than my entire school. Making friends. There's a bunch of kids in Shelton's Plaza. Looks like some of them are your age. Why not try to talk to them? Well, that's a dead giveaway what we're supposed to do for a side quest. So fun fact, I never actually do the side quest ever. It's kind of hard. I also don't get it. Let's see here, really go back there. Well, I mean, we got a couple reasons to fast travel now. I hate you. Oh, probably need Alvin in the uh, party. That's why. He was so pink and cute. Super cute! I've never seen anything so pink before! I've never actually Super done the side quest. I'll come clean up this. What is it? I was just wondering. What the heck are they talking about? You don't have to be scared. They're just children. Go on and ask them. talking about you are spying on us we have nothing to say to spies super nothing just give us a quick peek whoa that weird thing talked what is it like super weird he's not weird he's tipo tipo well whatever i'm still not going to show the cute pink thing to someone like you fine ah <laughs> phooey but if you can show us that you love the color pink and prove you're a true pinkist, I may consider it. Prove I'm a pinkist? How? By bringing us super rare things that are pink. For example, start with the peach berry blossom. Bring us one of those, then we'll talk. <laughs> we'll super talk! pay you to sell us out sell you out such an ugly phrase money isn't the only currency you know it's no secret that Lord Klein is unhappy with the current government if we want info we have to give some in return it's called a trade I told him what I know and he gave you some juicy info in return right King Nautical of Rashigal is the man responsible for everything. 
So long as he remains alive, he could construct a second or third Lance of Kresnik. You're going to assassinate the king? What choice do I have? I can't allow him to continue, even if his death throws your country into chaos. I suppose it's the lesser of two evils. We can't let him keep sacrificing innocent people for their mana. Hey, you're the people from the Wanted poster. Whoops. I suppose strolling about wasn't the smartest idea. Hmm. Wind from the southwest. Two meters per second. A nice breeze. What are you doing here? Please, allow me to handle this. Hey, Gramps. Step out of the way before you break a hip. Oh, dear me. What a fearsome trio. A bit on the sloppy side, though. You two in the rear. Isn't your formation a little wide? If you stand so far apart, how will you help your comrades in a moment of crisis? Shut up! Like we need your tactical advice. And you, good sir, aren't you standing a little too far forward? From there, you might be able to catch me. But the good people behind me, on the other hand... Hmm. There's a good soldier. Yeah, what the... Now, if you'll excuse me. Everyone, please follow me. You sure showed those meanies! Dear me. You misused the word awesome. It was merely a delay tactic. Whatever it was, you saved us, uh, Mr. Rowan. Just Rowan is fine. What do you need from us? My, get right to the point. Indeed, I have a favor to ask of you. Of us notorious criminals? This can't be good. The King of Rashagal came to the manor earlier, and ordered our citizens be drafted into service. What? Noctigal was here? Yes. The man you saw leaving by carriage earlier was King Noctigal himself. So he's the King of Rashagal. Why is he forcing people into his service? Maybe he needs more experimental subjects? My master couldn't abide seeing his people in danger. He set off to rescue them. But Noctagal is not one who takes disobedience lightly. Is Dressel's brother in danger? Undoubtedly. And I wish to rescue him. Will you assist me? Any brother of a pal is a brother of mine! Right, Ellie? We can't turn a blind eye at this point. We should help. Here we go again. For an honor student, you sure are lousy at learning lessons. It's settled. We cannot allow Noctical to proceed with any plan that involves using that weapon. There's your answer. You have my thanks. The people were taken to Bermia Gorge. We must make haste. Klein's quite the fool, attempting to directly defy King Noctigal. I too counseled him against it. But as you can see, he can be quite stubborn. Hey! Stop saying mean things about Drissel's brother! Klein is a good man. He most certainly is. Never have I met a lord who cares more deeply for his subjects. Indeed, he was kind and gentle long before he was a lord at all. Two years ago, when I had nowhere else to go, he was gracious enough to hire me on as his butler. Sounds like he's really important to you. Very much so. And he's so cool. Way cooler than Alvin. I beg your pardon. I didn't quite catch that. I'm sure Klein is still safe. Of that, I have no doubt. No harm will befall him on my watch.
Didn't someone say the peddler who sells talking stuffed animals went to the Alati Sea Haven? That's right! Oh, yeah. Maybe we should ask the Sea Haven merchants if they've seen him. Thank you. 